Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Butcher Beast. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut straight to the point. Uh, I've been waiting on making this video for a while because I thought it was interesting, and I constantly see talk online talking about basically, oh, what if McGregor versus Poirier 3 went to a second round, Dustin won by a fluke, all this other kind of stuff. So, I'm basically going to make a fantasy video breaking down what I think would happen had this fight went to a second round and didn't end the way it did. Because there's a lot of speculation on Connor's skills, how knew he looked basically how different he looked from their second matchup and how he was doing a few things correctly in the fight but ultimately the leg break was just a very unfortunate way of ending so i'm here to break it all down and basically we're going to talk about whether or not it would have had the same result had connor's leg broke or not so let's talk about it so we've seen how the first round went Connor landed a bunch of good leg kicks, even came out with wild techniques like the spinning back kick to back Dustin Poirier up, landed a few side kicks to the stomach, a few side kicks to the knee, a bunch of leg kicks, and so on and so forth. Dustin ended up landing big shots on the feet in boxing exchanges, backing Connor McGregor up. Connor McGregor then landed a good one too, and then Dustin Poirier landed another big shot that put Connor against the fence which then made Connor shoot him for a takedown because he was hurt. And then Dustin Poirier reversed it, put Connor on his butt, and then pounded Connor McGregor into oblivion. And then Connor got back up. Dustin Poirier then tried to rock Connor with another big shot. Connor threw at the same time. Connor fell back, broke his leg. But we're going to pretend that that fallback didn't happen. So let's just say that Connor fell back and then Dustin Poirier tried to finish him. Connor stands back up or something like that and the round ends because there's only about 10 seconds left when he hit the canvas. So now we go into the second round and this is where it gets interesting. Now if we're basing this off the history of both fighters, Dustin Poirier typically, typically is a slow starter. Conor McGregor is a fast starter with the second round being his best round, but that is also ultimately when he starts to slow down as well. Now Dustin landed big ground and pound shots and made Conor grapple, but Conor, according to Conor, worked on his conditioning and worked on his kicks and overall, his overall game of mixed martial arts, but we've seen that the first round wasn't going so well for him. So we only have to assume based off of Conor McGregor's previous opponents we'd have to see and his previous performances we'd have to go off based off of what he typically does in the second round so based off history of both fighting styles we could see conor mcgregor probably doing the same thing he did in the second round which is throw leg kicks throw body kicks to try and back dustin poirier up but what i noticed in the fight with these guys this third go round is that Conor McGregor's timing was just a bit off. It almost as if he didn't really have his timing anymore and really was capable of slipping shots and countering. So I don't know what this was. I don't know if it was because of his time off the octagon and him trying to fight high level competition off of basically being absent from the sport and so it really reduced his timing a little bit but it's only fair to assume that that scenario that rocked him in the first round was just going to happen again on a little more labored conor mcgregor so basically dustin lands a bigger shot does it hurt him or does it drop him that is where things get interesting but as Conor starts to slow down based off his history, we can only assume that Conor McGregor would slow down yet again in the second round, especially showing that Dustin made him grapple in the first. So what I see happening, I see a fresh Dustin Poirier advancing on a very tired Conor McGregor. This is where Conor kicks into survival mode, so to say. And this is where he said that he made a ton of the mistakes in the last fight where he didn't clinch or he was almost getting finished. And he wouldn't make those same mistakes. Basically, what I'm trying to conclude is I think that we see Conor McGregor in a similar scenario to what we've seen in the second fight. Not necessarily the leg kicks, though. It's just that his timing was off and how easily Dustin Poirier landed in the boxing exchanges. I could just see another big one landing for him. Only because you really analyze that first round, Conor approached it more in a mixed martial arts fashion but he still was off especially in terms of timing and his defense it's almost as if dustin poirier proved to be the better boxer although we kind of know 
Connor is the more cleaner boxer on paper. So, as far as Connor McGregor clipping Dustin, it becomes less likely as the second round gets deeper and deeper. At this point, Conor McGregor would be hurt again, and he probably gets finished in the similar way. Although, I feel like Conor won't go out the same way he did the second fight. I feel like he would shoot him for a takedown, and then Dustin grabs that neck and submits him. That is my genuine opinion. This is all my opinion, mind you. So, I believe that Dustin Poirier would have ended up finishing Conor McGregor in that second round. I, I just don't see it, because... When you look at the history of how Connor performs, he begins to slow down mid-second round. And Dustin Poirier had made him do heavily grappling in that first. And Connor got up and he was labored. Both of them were, but he was more labored. Dustin is typically pretty good at recovering in the corner. And Connor McGregor, as he gets up, he starts the round out fresh and then he ends it poorly. And Dustin Poirier is probably the best finisher Connor has fought, honestly. And I'm not saying that I'm just really shooting from the hip when I say that. But come on, look at how Dustin Poirier finishes. If he has you hurt or if he has you tired, he's going to finish you and he finishes you in a violent way. So did it? So does it end worse for Connor? Honestly, I feel like he would get submitted instead of pounded out. I really do. It depends on what mood Dustin was in. Dustin was just looking for the win. So I believe Dustin Poirier would have submitted Conor McGregor in that second round. But I want to know what you guys' thoughts are. I just wanted to make this quick video because these are my thoughts. And I just wanted to talk about it. So let me know what you guys think. It's me, Will Trippy, and I'm out, man.